He was crazy about the ball, so everywhere, everywhere he will go, it's always football, football, football. And... Five years ago, he was beast. He was literally beast. Like then, you could see that he will be big, big thing. He is one of the best center bikes in the world. January 23rd, 2002, a Wednesday. On this day, a legend was born. You wouldn't know it yet, but don't worry, nobody did. That legend's name, Yos, Yos. Hey, how do you say your name? Hi, I'm Joško Gvardio. I'm a player of uh, RB Leipzig and national team of Croatia. I grew up in in a building. Uh, it was a small apartment, and uh, it was. Uh, I mean, I was young and I didn't care about the space and everything. Zagreb, where it all began, the third building next to Zabreka Avenue, fifth floor. So this was the this is the neighborhood Srednyaci where we spent the most of our childhood, and a lot of times we spent on the pitch, uh, football pitch by the by our middle school. So Yoshko and me, uh, we've come a long way. We've been together in the middle school and kindergarten, and we have been friends ever since. Like it's been forever. It's, we are good friends. We talk about everything, our problems, his problems, my problems, and we, we stick together. He goes to my house, I go to his house, we play video games, we watch films. Oh, Hello. 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 Nogama, kad si lupao po zidovima. <laughs> Dijeli smo zid <laughs> i točno moj radni stol i ja učim, a on lupa, on lupa, lupa, pa onda neki luster opadne. Pa. Whatever Josko was doing to drive his sisters crazy, it was clear. He was just a boy, but football was in his blood. The only question was if it would be his destiny. Well, uh, when he was a kid, he was like very alive, always running. Crazy. He didn't, he didn't have peace. Yeah. <laughs> he was always going somewhere. Uh, Joško's character is special because he's a humble guy, he's a friendly guy, and he's simple, and that's all. School, football, fish. Every day. Wait, what? Fish? Yes, fish. For sale every day at the local market. That's how Josko's father, an ex-football player himself, paid the bills. And Josko was happy to do the work. So most of the time I, I will go on my, my training sessions, then on the way back to, to my place. I will start to visit my dad and uh, try to, to help to him. And now when I look back at that time, uh, I'm really happy and proud that I had the opportunity to do something like this because uh, especially now when I, when I have a good contract, I see and every coin means a lot for me, you know. Sa leđa slika na broj pet je nosio. <laughs> na jednom turniru u Splitu, mislim da. A to su ovi uspjesi. I još iz Trešnjevke. Ovo je trener Vedran Perić. Aha. Mislim da je on je. Samo puno mlađi <laughs> nego danas. <laughs> Uh, odmah se primijetilo kod Joška. Znači, to je dijete kad je došlo u neku sredinu gdje je bilo nekih 15-20 djece, on je odmah odskakao sa nogometnom inteligencijom. 
Uh, but to be honest, uh, I was when I was young, I I didn't I didn't take the football seriously, and I didn't want to be. I mean, everyone is trying to be a professional player, but I was like, I just I just want to play football to enjoy, and uh, yeah, this is all I ever wanted. Najbolji igrač isto na jednom turniru. Trofej, aha, trofej nogometaša. To je kao najbolji, najbolji strjelac u 11. U, na nekom turniru u Austriji su bili. Joško je stvarno bila ona, bila ona tehnika i ona brzina, ona moć koju je on imao, gdje on vrlo lagano se to rješavao te djece u prvom koraku. Josko has spent 10 years kicking the ball before his first big career break, Dinamo Zagreb, where he quickly scored game-winning goals while anchoring the defense. It's just a football club, Dinamo Zagreb. I spent there 13, 12, 13 years, and they gave me everything, and my desire is to come back at the end of my career. I literally saw it on the first training. You can see the player, the baller, when you see one, you know, the way he, how he received the ball, how he passed the ball, uh, passed between the line. He had this confidence and I saw it on the first training that uh, he will be a top player. He is strong, he is fast, he is fast thinking. He plays ball really good. He has vision, he has composure, he has everything that modern football player should have. And then at the age of 17, 16, I realized that there's a possibility to, to become something else, to reach, to reach something else and yeah. Uh, we went to Main Square to, to welcome uh, the team okay. and uh, people were screaming Joško's name and we were like, oh no, who are they screaming to? <laughs> and she said, like, Joško, I think. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> it's nice so. to see it. Meni uvijek to ostaje u sjećanju ti prvi dani kad je krenuo igrati. Kad smo nekako... Trešinačko igralište. Onda nekako mi bilo... Bilo njemu teško i meni bilo teško. To mi je ostalo nekako... Još uvijek me te emocije nekako ponesu. Few people know this fact. Kvardiol was already on the radar of big clubs back in 2016, but the young talent, not ready to leave Croatia, said no. A few years later, it was a different story. I remember it was a summer. It was a summer and I was, uh, I was in Dinamo Zagreb uh, during the preseason. And my agent called me and I was like, what do you want now? And he, he said like, Joško, it's, it's serious, we have to talk about it. And then I got uh, an offer from uh, RB Leipzig. And phew, I was really nervous. Uh, I didn't know what to do. It was, it was my uh, first transfer and I was like, ah. And then we talk and uh, we said that uh, we, should, we should go on, you know, we should uh, make a, a new step. And then I signed for RB Leipzig. He landed at RB Leipzig as a teenager, growing up off the pitch and on it. We've seen him struggle, battle, overcome, achieve, and ultimately dominate. For this legend in the making, it's been the perfect proving ground. Not easy, but it never is. No matter what, wherever he goes, Josko will always be Josko. Uh, he was the young kid who went to the grown-ups world and uh, it was a rough time for him, but his decision was, uh, was to go to Leipzig and it's the best decision he ever made in his life. After every conversation, I was like, oof, this club is, this club is, 
is born for me, you know. Um, he's probably the best defender in his in his age uh, worldwide, I would say. Einfach eine gute Mischung aus allem, noch dazu sehr jung und entwicklungsfähig. Bedeutet, da kann man noch einiges erwarten. Because of his way of playing, also his his attitude, his energy, as I said, his ambition to to win, I think is really important for for us. Joško knows what he what he has to do back there, you know, and he was with the all the center backs that. Joško is a very humble guy. Um, a machine and uh, Brad Moy. I don't know when I when I step out on the on the pitch. I don't feel. I just I just believe in myself and teammates. We shouldn't be afraid of of uh, no one because in football everything is possible. So yeah, I'm just born with this. Josko Gvardio. Put it in the dictionary for talent, hard work, and ambition coming together. Quick. Add in humility and passion. Rare traits in a generational talent. The fact that uh, the fame didn't change it, change him at all, I think that's the most important thing for me. Outside of pitch, he is like more natural, friendly, joking all the time talking about video games, series, and everything. He's, he's a cool kid. Uh, Joško is very self-minded. He's, um, I think he's very strong, like, uh, mentally. Oh, he's always funny. He's always positive. Even if he plays a bad game, he's, he's always smiling, and uh, that's why everybody likes him. Hey Joško, držiš se lave, stay like you are, be be positive, train hard and only the sky is limit. Uh, Joško, ništa želim ti sve najbolje i samo nastavi ovakvu karijeru i mi ćemo uvijek biti tu s tebe. We want to say to our brother that we love love him. Samo nastavi tako i pamet u glavu. <laughs> da uživa, da bude svoj. Kako ja njemu znam reći, mudra, bistra glava i hitre nogi. Pa evo, to samo da nastavi sa i dalje ovako, kako je do sada bilo. Na ponosi, prije svega sebe. I would say that uh, there's going to be always uh, good times and uh, bad times. No matter what happens, uh, what happens, uh, just keep your chin up and move on. Coming to RB Leipzig as a young and raw talent, he has been polished into a world-class defender. His future is bright. His passion is football. His identity, just Joško. And his advice, follow your dreams, no matter what. When I was young, I didn't have someone to, to give me advice. But I would like to take this opportunity and uh, say that uh, maybe uh, you just have to believe in yourself. And uh, if you are still young, uh, you don't have to be worried about a professional career. Just, just enjoy and do uh, what you like to do, and the rest will come. <laughs>